Hey everybody, so today I'm gonna show you how I make bath bomb witches cauldrons. It's gonna be super cute. So here's my mixing bowl, and in here I already have baking soda, Epsom salt, and cornstarch. And I'm just gonna start by mixing this all up. Trying to get out any kind of chunks that I feel. I feel it's pretty smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and add our liquid mixture. Now in this um, beaker, I have uh, water, avocado oil, and fragrance oil. And then I mix it with one of the you know cool little milk frothers. I wanna go ahead and mix all of that up really good. Oh, this is pumpkin chai. Oh my God, it smells amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and pour that in. And I do have a little secret. The recipe does contain citric acid, but we're gonna add that after the liquid and the rest of the dry ingredients incorporate because I do not want to activate the citric acid. Because I want your bath bombs to be as bubbly as possible. So I will wait to add the citric acid. Go ahead and mix all of this goodness up. And we're getting in there. Okay, now that this is pretty much incorporated, now I'm going to add this citric acid, which this is in charge of a nice bubbly fuzz that you get out of bath bombs. So we'll just incorporate all that in. Alrighty. You can see when I press it, it has a very nice consistency. It's able to hold the shape of, of like a ball in my, in my palm. That's how I know that it's pretty ready. But as we're making pumpkin chai, let's add a little bit of mica to add some fun, some fun colorant. Let's see, let's make it I'm looking for my brown mica. Oh, where did I put it in this crazy, crazy soap room? This pumpkin chai smell is absolutely amazing. I can't tell you how amazing this smells. I wish you guys could smell it. Whatever you envision a pumpkin chai smelling like, like it's Starbucks or something, yep, it's in here. This smells, it's so good. Let's go ahead and try and mix that up really well. Very cute little Halloween cauldrons. So I'm just gonna mix it up. I weigh these out to be about um, five points, um, five point seven ounces. And that is including the weight of the cauldron. So you're getting about four ounces um, or so bath bomb, which is what my typical bath bombs are anyway. So we get that cauldron all nice and cute and filled up. Weigh it real quick. Yeah, looks good. And there you go. Easy peasy, just putting bath bombs in cauldrons. And then for the cute little top, go ahead and put a little diamond spider ring. Just press that in there. Boop. And there you go. 
These will have to dry for, uh, well, usually let them dry for about a day, and then I'll package them up and send it to you. But that's how I make my witch's cauldron bath bomb.